Kevin James, Awesome and Funny, a movie about animals that can talk. Less, you know, not as, not as much so, really. Zookeeper. So Zookeeper is the story of Kevin James who is a zookeeper. His girlfriend Leslie Bibb dumped him five years ago when he tried to propose to her. And then she shows up five years later with her new boyfriend Joe Rogan from Fear Factor. And since when you date women they put a chip in your brain in which they can go away and come back five years later and activate that chip and you're just like you're there for them all over again? Yeah it sucks. He wants to get her back. Only problem is he's not a confident guy but wait there's a catch. Animals can talk you know like Brave Little Toaster and shit. Actually I'm gonna go ahead and say Toy Story on that one. I don't know why I pulled out the Brave little toes are that was weird. And so they're going to teach him how to be confident and an alpha male. And then he has to learn his lesson as to what love really is and whatnot. Because Leslie Bibb is like such a bitch. Hot yes. No doubt. But a gold digging bitch. Yes, I should probably watch my language in these kids movie reviews. Gold digging whore. I apologize. Now when I first saw the teaser trailer to this movie, I was like, Kevin James, what are you doing? Then I saw the full length trailer and I was like, all right, this might actually be funny. You know, dating rituals that people have are the same as like primal instincts and alpha male shit. You know, that could be funny. But after actually watching the movie, I'm more like, Kevin James, what are you doing? Personally, I think Kevin James is hilarious. I think he's a comic genius. And you can see he really tries to give it his all just to save this movie. But it's a movie about animals that can talk. Right there, it starts out a few notches below. I think honestly, studio execs are like, you know, we're a little under financially. We gotta make this movie good but uh, let me stop you right there it's about animals that can talk i mean really are you sweating it that much winning yeah to all the studio execs that are watching this animals that can talk automatic couple notches down here's what i think was wrong with the movie the concept premise and most of the humor is for like five-year-olds but five-year-olds aren't gonna care because it's about a guy who's trying to get his girl back and girls have like cooties to them and then the adult humor kicks in but adults aren't gonna care about the movie because it's a premise that's for five-year-olds so it really doesn't appeal to anybody and it does stuff like the wolf tells him all right piss on your territory mark your territory pheromones and all that good stuff all right now you're a man did i just do the pope thing that was weird very next scene he's in a nice restaurant he's pissing on the plant in the lobby i just don't think he would do that i think he'd be like yeah no I make it subtle, like I'll piss on her car or something. Nope, middle of the lobby in front of everybody. A couple of the animals I liked, like Sylvester Stallone plays a lion. Nick Nolte plays this gorilla, he's the coolest part. Then there was a monkey that kind of sounded like Gilbert Gottfried with cerebral palsy. Best I can describe it. Watch the trailer, you'll see. As a Kevin James fan, I wanted to like the movie. Kevin James was funny, but the rest of the movie was garbage. I don't know who Kevin James's agent is, but whoever he is, he should be kicked in the bag. So I gotta say, Zookeeper is dog shit. It's kind of like liking chocolate. I love chocolate, but if someone puts chocolate into like a bunch of steaming mushrooms, Ugh. I ain't eating the chocolate. Case in point, if you're a Kevin James fan, don't watch this movie just because Kevin James is in it, because it makes no difference. So just skip it. No need. Just watch King of Queens. There's like nine years of the show out there. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. One thing is for sure, the chick from King of Queens, Leslie Bibb and Rosario Dawson. Yeah, this skinny thing's not working for me anymore. Time to get some diabetes.